Hey, welcome. I've just finished another great trading session with binary options on a platform called Pocket Option. If you want to find out where I got with just one dollar, what results I got, watch this video till the end. You'll find out, you'll see what indicators I use, what strategies. And yeah, let's go start straight away. I'm Oliver. Let's go. So guys, straight away, I'm going to go ahead and make this call option because what we see here is the stochastic oscillator looking strictly up and we are breaking through the parabolic SAR dotted line. So it's given us some support at this point. It's actually it is now below our graph. So that's that gives us support and the fact that it's breaking through is a good sign. So let's wait for the result and see if we break the dungeon channels middle line. This is where, where it's heading. So this is the idea behind the decision. Let's wait for the result and continue. And here is our profit. It's uh, a small profit for now, but we're gonna go ahead and continue. It's just $1 again. Um, we don't have the full $2. Let's go and just place another option. Let's here we go here. Um, just waited a bit. Well, uh, entering on the pullback is a lot better than uh, to to jump and then end up in a pullback. So right now I think we entered. Um, it's it's going lower, but I think we entered at the pullback, so it's gonna go up again. So let's wait for the result of this and continue. Here is the profit. It's still not a huge thing, but what we're gonna do is. Uh, as you can see, this worked out, the pullback, and then it went back up. What we're going to do is we're going to use $2 now, and then little by little it's going to grow. So you'll see. Um, let's just jump to another currency here and see something interesting. I jump between so that we can get some clear situations. We'll change this again. How about this? This one, well, it's unclear. It might go back up. Yeah, let's change. Unless. Actually, there is a, an indication from Stochastic that it's going down. So let's just use that. Um, since it broke through the middle line of Donchin Channel, Stochastic is just has just crossed the slower line. That's an indication for the price to to go down. So let's see if we're correct. There is a there is a support uh, at the bottom there um, as a as a parabolic SAR dotted line. But let's see let's see let's see how it goes. Um, We'll wait for the result and continue. And here is the next profit from this one. It is now possible to use $4, which we're going to do. This this point here, actually, that's, that's what I was talking about. And it might. Um, actually, it looks like it's crossing it. So, Right, we're going to go ahead and see what's going on here. Going to uh, to some resistance zone. But this one here, that also is that's looking up, but it, it has the. Uh, this might be going up as well. Bouncing off the middle line of the of the dungeon channel. Hmm. Here, I think this is gonna bounce off the minimums there. I think it's starting to grow. Let's go and enter into this 
call option at the minimums. We'll see if that's correct and continue. So we have the next profit and let's choose the next option. This put option is um, going to be due to the stochastic oscillator looking strictly down and us crossing down the dotted line of the parabolic SAR and actually it appeared at uh, at the top the two dots already appeared forming the for forming um, the new the new level there which if it's above obviously the the idea is that the graph will go down if it's below if it's below the parabolic saw line it's it's a it's a short basically that's the idea so yeah let's wait for the result of this it's seven dollars now and we are slowly but getting there this is due to the compound percent if we use and there there we go there we go we have the profit from this if we use for example now we're gonna go ahead and use 14 and if we do that then we have um the perfect growth exponential growth right let's have a look at this one here what do we see well, first of all it's it's reaching the resistance and it's likely to i mean we could cat we could try and catch the we could try and catch um a pullback and this for example this this um this picture this well this uh little um pin bar could be a an indication but let's just see if right yeah so we're gonna go ahead and this is this is gonna bounce off some resistance zone and also i mean we're trying to catch basically we're trying to catch a a pullback here because it's been growing and growing and there is a point where it, it should be correcting the price uh, even if it continues to grow afterwards and with this time frame one minute most of the time we are trying to catch a we're trying to catch a pullback so that's good for us let's wait for the result and continue And here is a profit from this one. It's twenty-seven dollars now on the balance, and this is what we can use twenty-seven for the next currency. And let's continue. This is getting This is looking like, I mean, it's likely to bounce off up unless we wait a bit and see if it actually breaks through the middle line. Doo -doo. Thing is breaking through so we might we might go with a short we do have um, also stochastic is showing us that the price would go down but it's tricky because it could bounce off as well yeah it's tricky this one's growing here actually let's go in and through here stochastic is looking down we're mm, maybe a clearer situation That's that's pretty good here. Okay, so we reached a support level here. It's it, it is a strong 
um, is it, a, it is a strong downtrend, but we reached the support there, so we might might be able to bounce off it for a pullback at least, and that's good enough for us. So let's wait for the result of this and continue. Here's a profit, guys, and as you can see, we're getting something here. It is growing. We have fifty-two dollars for the next option. Let's go. The next one. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad one. It's gonna probably bounce off the minimums. It's been going down for a while. Now it's trying to break through the parabolic SAR and stochastic is looking up as if it's going to break this uh, resisting level. And yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a good opportunity for us. Even if it's a pullback again, that's good enough for us. Let's wait for the result and continue. And here it is. Hundred, first hundred dollars we have on our balance and it did go up and we're gonna go ahead and use a hundred dollar this time as you can see it's growing pretty well and even with little balance to start with you can get to higher higher numbers and right now we basically what we are risking is one dollar and a bit of our time but let's continue maybe this this looks like it's still going down there is time it's just entering the the zone of over um when the asset is oversold uh, devalued uh, when it's pretty cheap people at this point people start buying it but it's still there is still time i think uh, as it's just entering the zone so yeah i think we have this little um, this little gap there. Let's wait for the result and continue. So we have our first quite an, really like um, a nice profit because what we did is $100 and the percentage from the the um, from the option was 92% so $192 and the next one 190 i just made a put option as we have a pretty strong um downtrend as you can see and again we're, we entered into the into the um, uh, oversold section zone and it likely we're gonna um spend a bit of time there before going back up so i think we still have time uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's wait for for the result and continue. Here is the profit, guys. Three hundred sixty-seven. We're gonna place this amount towards the next option to create an absolute absolute exponential growth and and just use use the power of the of the compound percent. You'll see in a second if we're uh, lucky with our option if we're correct with it lucky it's um, a manufacturers that play the role so let's have a look I'm just switching between to see like a nice clear situation I'm optimizing the risk I'm minimizing the risk this is looks like it's going down so here I would do a option but we're gonna just keep looking because um, that's not a bad one but it can bounce off the parabolic SAR and the, the top it can bounce back down it's tricky it's tricky it looks like it's breaking through but it reached it's reached this resistance on a few levels so tricky but doable uh, let's just Keep on looking how about this one let's make a one one option here I'm looking at the pin bar and what it gives me is a, a hint that the price is gonna move down because the the pin bar like this looking up means that uh, in the opposite direction from the pin bar we start into to to move so yeah let's wait for the result of this one and continue Oh, that was pretty lucky actually but uh, looking looking good 
we call it a pullback basically and there's another pin bar like this this would look like if it continues the way it does it would look like a <clears throat> another pattern actually okay with 700 we're gonna move on let's go to our next option out here do, do, do. Will this... Okay, let's go with it. It's bouncing by the look, it's bouncing off the supports and it's crossing actually the the middle of the, of the dungeon channel and also stochastic as you can see is looking up. So let's wait for the result of this and continue. Here we have guys, we have a pretty good profit and it looks like it's reaching the resistance there of Parabolic SAR, if you look at it. But guys, we're gonna stop here because we got a pretty good and, and the amount is pretty nice, pretty good session today. So we're gonna stop here before we ruin it. Um, I enjoyed it, I hope you did. All the best, I'll see you all next time, goodbye.